Hello everyone, I am Mental Fox, and I'd like to welcome you to my playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This will be a blind playthrough, although in the interest of full disclosure, I have already played the first hour, maybe hour to 15 minutes of the game, uh, but I had some recording problems, so I am starting it over. Um, the recording problems I had were uh, my mouse cursor stayed in the middle of the screen. I don't know if you saw the first three episodes that I already posted. They may be gone by the time you watch this, but uh, my first three videos had the cursor in the middle of the screen, and it was a pain in the butt to try to get rid of it. I'm not really sure, to tell you the truth, what finally did get rid of it, but it's gone now! And I am excited to play The Witcher 3, and I'm happy that you're here with me. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to play the amazing opening cinematic for you. It is fantastic. The voice acting of this guy is just awesome. He is great. So I'm going to play that for you. And then we're going to come back here and we're going to get started on a new game of The Witcher. Let's do it. I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain. All right, let's get started with new game here. Uh, I'm going to do Blood and Broken Bones because I am a seasoned demanding gamer. And I do believe we could always uh, change the um, difficulty a little bit later on. So if it turns out to be too much, we could change it later. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. But I do want it to be demanding. Uh, but I don't want it to be so hard that I keep dying all the time. I mean, after all, this is a Let's Play, and who wants to watch me die all the time? I hope you don't want to watch me die all the time. I don't know. Let's get started with Blood and Broken Bones. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the tutorials on, since I don't know how to play this game. And I'm not going to do Simulate Witcher 2 save. 
I have not played Witcher 2 yet, although I am doing a complete playthrough of The Witcher 1 Enhanced Edition right now on my channel. So if you want to watch that, make sure you check out my channel for that playthrough. And as soon as I'm done with that one, I will go through The Witcher 2. But as of now, I haven't gone through it yet. So I'm going to do... I'm going to choose off here, because my understanding is that if I choose on, there may be some spoilers. I could be wrong about that, but we'll do off. That was a very, very cool movie right there. Care more on Witcher Keep Banks of the Gwenlech. Uh. Good lord. Not the kind of thing you want to see crawling between your legs. I mean, unless you're into that kind of thing. You know I don't find that amusing. He only seems mildly, mildly annoyed. Only mildly. Oh, hello. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings.
So, later then. Hmm. See you later. So I'm going to guess she was the one that was in that latest cutscene we just saw. Alright, welcome to the tutorial. Welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary, where you'll also find detailed information about world lore and gameplay mechanics. To disable tutorial messages, go to the Options menu. So I'm using my wireless Xbox 360 controller, playing the game on my PC. I would much prefer to use mouse and keyboard, but um, there's no option to remap the directional keys. And I don't use WASD, I use EDSF. I find it far superior. Anyone who said those, says otherwise is wrong. So until that is fixed, and I hope it will be fixed, I will be using the controller. Use your Witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door. And apparently I... Uh, okay, yes. Tilt the left stick to start moving. I think I can handle that. Minimap and objectives. The minimap in the upper right-hand corner of your display shows your current location and the surrounding area. Underneath the minimap, you'll find the objectives for your active quest. So our uh, objectives in Kaer Morin, Use your Witcher... Witcher your senses to find the key to the bedroom door. And we hold down left trigger for Witcher senses. So I'm gonna walk over here and look at this thing. It's kind of a neat effect, right? You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Yeah, we'll see about that. What else can we look at in here? Let we go over here. Look at this. What is this? Her clothes? Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Mm hmm. Undergarments. Let's talk to Jennifer. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive. Not to mention unreasonable. Yeah, let's be unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Alright, so we're still looking for the key to the bedroom door. I wonder if we could say anything else to her. Not now. Siri awaits. Isn't there something you ought to be doing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Not now. Siri awaits. Alright, what else can we look at in here? Um... Extinguish. Ignite! Look at that. We already know how to light things on fire. Definitely a good skill to have. Uh, what do we got here? Lilac and gooseberries, of course. Of course. Geralt, stop fingering my toiletries. Yeah, Geralt. Sheesh. Creep. Um, what else? Right here. We've got the book. And a key. To unlock locked doors. Walk up to them and press A. Well, I think I can handle that. First, I want to look outside. Shit. Mountain Pass is beautiful as ever. Yeah, that's, um... That's rather impressive. That looks fantastic. So, my PC is a couple years old. 
It has a uh, like a GTX 680 in it. So hardly the latest card, but um, as you can see, it still holds its own. Quite pleased with my purchase. Open. Uh, open. Thank you. Can you go any faster than that, Witcher? I ain't got all day. Whee! Ah. Well, I can jump. Ouch. What do we got here? Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm. What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone, it only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice, she'll get to practice. I do believe we've spoiled her. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start, Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true, but you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame, but this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. See why you were so eager to practice. Strike. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Yeah, well, it better not. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Oh, of course. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Maybe to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Uh, let's see. We are supposed to join Ciri in a run along the ramparts down to the lower courtyard. And, uh, yeah, okay, we'll just follow her. Alright, Ciri, I'm right behind you. You better move. Okay. B to climb over obstacles. I can handle that. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. 
Siri, cut it out. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, gosh, I hurt myself. I tried to stop, but uh, I guess I didn't stop fast enough. Whoa. Use. Okay, I'm pressing the button. Use it. Maybe she was on the ladder. Maybe she was in my way. All right. Press B while running to leap over obstacles. Okay. What obstacles are we running over? Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I think I was standing on her head. All right. Where are we going, Siri? This way? Oh, no. Desimir's got that look. Sprint. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. You know, you could have said you did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, yes, let us begin the combat tutorial. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. I like how it gives you a choice there. You don't have to go through this Where part if you don't want Garrett? to. Combat witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strengths and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords, one steel for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly, with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes.